Something spectacular sports. Let's get it. We got now. Listen, listen, listen. Year of the upsets again. PBC fighter, hometown favorite, Adam Kalnaki gets knocked out versus Robert Hellenius in the fourth round. The dude done got no defense. Word on the streets is he's supposed to fight Brazil. He he had a he he's looked like he sold a lot of tickets. He got the Polish community. I'm on live kicking it, you know what I'm saying, talking some boxing. I'm like, yo, bro, dude should sign a contract to fight on the zone because PBC don't have as many fighters on there. But this is the second time for it's PBC. Wilder got stopped, J-Rock got stopped, and Kalnaki got stopped. And Kalnaki and J-Rock got stopped, and they was fighting in their hometown. Um, Kalnaki is about defense, bro. You can't underestimate nobody. And it's crazy. Hellenius said he would come to fight and nobody picked him to win. Dude just got knocked out by Gerald Washington last year. We know Gerald Washington is the step up guy in the division, but he got stopped. At first he was looking decent, but he, he don't got no head movement. He just go straight, go, go right backwards and just take punches. Dude, listen, man, I, I don't know if he's going to ever recover. And the crazy thing about it, the boy just walked out of the ring. He just walked out of the ring. I'm looking at the highlights. He hurt Hellenius a little bit, and he looked like he slipped or whatever. His legs was weak. Yeah, he was wobbled. But the dude is a sore fucking loser, bro. How you fight in front of your hometown, people spend their money, win, lose, or draw, you give the respect to the people that came to see you. Um, I'm looking at him hit him with a nice right hand. You give the respect to the people that come to see you, and you give him a post-fight interview and thank him for coming. But him being a sore loser that he is, you find the character of fighters after they lose, bro. After they lose. And he was already talking about, yeah, I wanted a water fight. Now Hellenius stopped him. And Hellenius is ranked probably 30 if in the heavyweight division. Look, bang. He was taking way too many shots, bro. He lucky to, he lucky to, uh, the, 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 uh, referee stopped the fight. But I don't like the way he lost, man. I don't like sore losers, bro. How you not do a interview? How you not do a post fight interview, huh? Unless they was rushing him for the hospital, they probably make an excuse. But Robert Hellenius knocks out Kalnaki. I want to get your thoughts on that. Something spectacular, sports. We got now. Let's get it. Another PBC fighter down, but one loss is not the end of the career. But he gonna have a lot to work on. First of all, he already big. Weighing all that weight, you can't be playing around with boxing, eating anything that you want to, 263 some pounds. You you don't got no defense. Come on, bro. Another it's, it, Man, listen, bro. You're going to have to really step his game up. Real talk. And it was crazy from the PBC side. They was using him as a ticket seller in Brooklyn. Now it's like, who do they really got? I mean, they're they going to have to, a lot of those guys, they're going to have to sign more people. They're going to have to keep guys active. That's what I've been saying. PBC got to have guys fighting on the zone. I just said Kalnaki should go to the zone to fight more um, heavyweights because he is selling tickets. But as people going to actually watch him now, he got knocked out by a guy that's ranked pride 30 if in heavyweight. And he didn't do a post-fight interview. People remember stuff like that. That's like being ungrateful. People spent their hard money to come support you. And you got knocked out. That's your fault. You get what I'm saying? But I'm out of here, man. Make sure y'all subscribe and smash that thumbs up. Something spectacular sports. We got now. Let's get it.